Welcome to Research Wild. I'm Peter Hayes alongside with Michael Burt and a special guest. We're here at the Wildlife Center at Cross Timber Ranch and we have a heart wrenching story for you. Mike, you want to take over? We're here with the president of the Tarleton State University chapter of the Wildlife Society. Yesterday, he alerted me to a very heartbreaking story out here in a little known rehab center in East Dallas. And so what we're doing is we're gonna check this place out. They have an amazing bobcat rehabilitation program going on here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at it, get up close and personal with these cats, and hopefully shed some light into what's going on with this place so we can get some publicity and help this place through its financial crisis. So Michael, tell us a little bit about this place and what makes it so special and who runs it. Well, uh, this place is run by Valerie Marler, and uh, she does a wonderful job with all these animals. Uh, she basically takes in anything that needs help, and she gets it. She either uh, takes care of it if it if it can't be released, or she gets it into a condition where it can be released, or she gets it to someone who can help it further. And uh, uh, she does a a wonderful job, and uh, it's a beautiful place. I've I uh, used to volunteer out here uh, for about a year. I used to build uh, enclosures, animal enclosures, and uh, help feeding the animals and general cleanup and just maintenance of the entire facility. Um, and just that little bit of time that I got to spend here helped me realize that this place is just a wonderful place to, to be at, to be around, to participate with, and, uh, and I hope it is here for a much longer time. So, it's time to get going. I want to learn more about this place and get to see more of the beauty of it. From what I see, it's already beautiful. So, I'm ready and excited to get going. Mike, you ready? All excited yeah. for the visitors. But Hoover likes to, um, mm -hmm. kind of cramped in here. Let me get that, because this guy likes to try and sneak out. Go ahead. Hoover's the one that likes to, if you go down to the ground with him, he'll, uh, some more better light over here, um, he'll go into your underarm and uh, on your head and just start drilling. Look at that. Oh, I don't know if you at home can see this. These cats love deodorant. They love their arm, your armpit. And he just drooled all in mine. This is awesome. So tell us a little bit about bobcats. Bobcats are one of the most misunderstood, um, especially uh, with the urban wildlife. Um, but they are um, they're elusive, but they have su uh, such great personalities. Um, Valerie has, uh, has seen and uh, witnessed uh, different types of vocalizations uh, from them, which she could talk more, more, more with you about that. Uh, but their their personalities are all unique, and uh, they're, they're gentle creatures. Uh, but keeping them in the wild is you know our main goal. But unfortunately, uh, we have some of the cats that were uh, try to be raised by uh, by people as pets, and once they realize they're not pets and how expensive they are, and they're not house cats, then places like us get them, and, and this is the type of enrichment we have to do for them uh, to keep them happy they were raised by humans. Uh, these, these animals may look like cute, cuddly birds, but you hear the growl. They're very possessive and they are wild animals. So, word to the wise, do not try to own any of these animals. They're wild. Oh. It's not just about urban sprawl, but how green everything is. You know, everybody's going green, so they make these lush neighborhoods that makes it beautiful for the bobcats and so the bobcats are like hey I'm not gonna go stay in this wild I'm gonna go live in this you know beautiful neighborhood that has this these ponds and all these you know birds all the, birds. All the prey that's brought <laughs> into there and then and then the people who move in there um, you know don't want to um, coexist with them you know they don't know how to um, to understand that they're not going to harm you but you have to respect them. respect and, and do your part and not leave pet food out for them don't leave your, your animals outside and they won't do it. They, they, they want to take over their, you know, their habitat, you know, build all these new neighborhoods, but uh, yet 
know, don't want to coexist with the wildlife that were originally there. So this here is my buddy Saturday. He suffers from a, neuro, a neurological disability uh, that causes seizures and uh, a decrease in mobility. But what's amazing is that he's found a safe and desirable home here. As you can see, he's still a normal bobcat. He still likes to play and uh, likes to talk, but he, his disability kind of holds him back that doesn't make him any less of a bobcat. And here at the center, Valerie's working to do research with these uh, amazing creatures. So any help or support uh, would go a long way to help shedding some light onto the mysteries <laughs> behind these disabilities and these precious creatures. <laughs> So this guy was found out of a tragedy. He was actually washed out of his den during a flood and he was he was brought to the center and he's now an education cutie. And he loves people. <laughs> He's so happy right now. <laughs> so, it's really amazing that we got to spend this time with these amazing creatures and learn how vocal and emotion, emotional these cats are and that they're not just backyard killers waiting to get you or your dog or your cat. They're actually sophisticated, smart, beautiful, emotional cats that deserve a space in our society. And um, I just hope that you join us at Research Wild in helping Valerie and her mission and her research out here at the Wildlife Center. So, Research Wild signing out in East Dallas.